I'm working with Word 2010. I'm talking about putting in page numbers here. We have a lot of stuff typed here. We need to put in page numbers and stuff, covers and stuff here. We've got a cover page, no page numbers. And down here, we're going to have introductory notes with Roman numerals. I put comments in here. Down here, we're going to have the commentary or the actual writing of the report, which will go like page 1 through 12. And then down here, we're going to have a big white chart, which will be in landscape format. So to get this started, I go and put on the paragraph markers. Very important to do this, regardless of whether it's Office 2007, 10, or 13. This all works the same. I have vastly simplified what some textbooks do. What I want to do now, I want to go here. Before introductory notes, I'm going to put in a page break. I click on Page Layout, Breaks. I go to Next Page. It becomes Section 2. If you look down here, it says Section 2. If you don't see it, right-click in here, check off Section. So we're in this thing here. What I want to do is I want to work with the footer add page numbering and a few other things. I take my mouse, I just go down in here, I'm in the page layout view, I just double click in here. So it says footer section 2. It says same as previous. You've got to break the link, otherwise you're going to have a page number on the first page. Undo the orange here and I want to make this page and I it just click on page number and I just say current position plain number. However, I want this to appear as page I, Roman numeral 1. I click next to here again. I click on format page numbers here. And then I can just say start at 1. I click inside here. And then I can change the format right clicking over here. And so I have my Roman numerals. I say, OK, it's page I. I'm going to go out of the thing, out of the header of the floor. Just double click here. I'm in the commentary. I need to put another section break. This is going to be page one. There's more sheets than it thinks. If you look down here, it says that there's ten sheets here. I'm now in page one. I want to make this page I here, page one here. I have to say this slowly. I go into page layout, breaks, next page. And then I go down into the footer here. Now it's showing this in here. It says same as previous. All I do is remove the link, go back here, click after page number, click on format page numbers. I'm going to say start at, I want it to be one. I'm going to change the stop, the formatting here to one, two, three. Start at one. Say OK. Double click here. It goes on and on and on and on and on. If you want something to go to another page, for example, let's say I want this to be on a subsequent page here. I want to put a hard page breakout page layouts page or control enter so I forced a page break gonna go towards the end what I want to do here I want to put a landscape page after this so to do this I click before this I click on breaks next page I want to make it landscape page layout orientation landscape And let's say I want the page numbering in here. I can double click in here. This says page one here. It says same as previous, okay? If I want to continue, I just click on page number, format page numbers, and I just say continue from previous section. Double click in here gonna go I want this centered on the first page the cover here I click on page layout page setup I click on layout vertical alignment center it says to this section if you don't do this it could do the whole document this point forward I say okay I want to center these lines let's say 
control E is the shortcut here. I'm going to preview this document. This is the first page, no number here. I'm going to do go to the next page. It's 12, it's 12 sheets. This is page I, the introduction. Here it's page 1. It says page 1 here, but it's the third sheet. And if I just scroll through this, hard, it's showing the landscape. 